hello viewers in today's class we are going to uh, discuss one important uh, application of uh, lagrange's uh, mean value theorem right so in our earlier videos we have discussed in detail uh, regarding uh, lagrange's mean value theorem and we have also solved some uh, problems based on uh, lagrange's mean value theorem right so here uh, we are going to uh, take up uh, the uh, application part uh, where uh, using lagrange's mean value theorem uh, we can uh, derive uh, some important results in mathematics right so let us start so here uh, let me first uh, take a look uh, quick look uh, what lagrange's mean value theorem states and uh, uh, this theorem uh, says that if uh, y is equal to f of x is a function which is defined on some interval uh, a comma b then uh, as per lagrange's mean value theorem uh, this function uh, should uh, satisfy uh, two conditions right so the first condition is uh, that uh, this function should be uh, continuous in the interval a comma b so here uh, we have the closed interval a comma b right and the second condition which this function should uh, uh, satisfy is that it should be uh, differentiable or derivable uh, in the open interval a comma b right and uh, when this function y is equal to f of x which is defined on this closed interval a comma b when it satisfies these two conditions that is it is continuous in the closed interval a comma b and derivable or differentiable in the open interval a comma b then there must exist at least one point in this open interval a comma b that is uh, let us take that point c then c must belongs to this interval a comma b right so now this point c uh, is such that it lies uh, between a and b and it uh, must satisfy the condition that f prime of c is equal to f b minus f of a divided by b minus a right so this condition uh, should be satisfied by uh, this point c uh, which lies between a and b so this is the statement of uh, lagrange's uh, mean value theorem right so now let us come to our uh, actual problem so here we have to prove this uh, inequality that 1 plus x is less than e raised to x which is less than 1 plus x times e raised to x uh, for all x greater than 0 right so here uh, this shows that uh, for all x greater than 0 it means uh, x is a positive uh, quantity right so uh, let us proceed okay so now here uh, in order to prove this uh, inequality uh, we have to assume uh, a function right because uh, y is equal to f of x is the function uh, which is defined in this interval a comma b right so uh, the first step is to uh, define a function so let us take the function f of x is equal to e raised to x right and for this interval uh, we can take uh, the interval uh, 0 comma x where x is uh, greater than 0 right so this is the first step to prove this inequality we have to assume a function y is equal to f of x is equal to e raised to x in the interval 0 comma x right so this is the exponential uh, function right so if we compare uh, this interval with this one then we see that a is 0 and b is equal to uh, x right okay now uh, let us uh, verify the condition 1 and 2 for this function 
now we know that exponential function is obviously uh, a continuous function and uh, uh, therefore we can say that uh, uh, this function is uh, continuous function in the interval uh, 0 comma x right and the second condition is the differentiability condition and we know that uh, the exponential uh, function is uh, differentiable in the open interval 0 comma x right so these two conditions are satisfied by this exponential function so now the lagrange's uh, mean value uh, theorem says that there must be a point c there must be a point c uh, which lies uh, in this open interval a comma b so here we have c belonging to 0 comma x such that the derivative of uh, this function at this point c so we have f prime of c should be equal to f of b so here we have for b we have x so we have f of x minus f of 0 because a is 0 and here we have uh, x minus uh, 0 right so now uh, we'll use uh, this uh, uh, equation uh, to move further right so now uh, if we uh, differentiate this function then we know that the derivative of exponential function is the uh, function itself right so the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x and it exists in the interval 0 comma uh, x right so now f prime of c is equal to e raised to c because for x is equal to c we have f prime of c is equal to e raised to c so let us uh, substitute uh, this value over here so therefore uh, this equation 1 it becomes e raised to c is equal to f of x is e raised to x and f of 0 now f of 0 is e raised to 0 that is 1 so here we have 1 and here we have x minus 0 which is simply x right so now let us call this equation as equation number uh, 2 now uh, let us come to uh, uh, this uh, uh, expression that is here we have c belonging to the interval 0 comma x right so when c belongs to this interval we can uh, write uh, as uh, c is greater than 0 but less than x right so we have this uh, inequality and uh, now uh, if we uh, take the uh, exponential expression for uh, these three numbers that is if we raise these numbers to uh, e then we have the inequality e raised to 0 uh, is less than e raised to c less than e raised to x right so why we have written this because here x is greater than uh, 0 and uh, c lies between 0 and uh, x right so what we have done here we have raised these three numbers to uh, the power of e and we get this inequality right now e raised to 0 is 1 here we have e raised to c and here we have e raised to x right now this value of e raised to c can be substituted here right so now this inequality becomes 1 uh, less than uh, e raised to x minus 1 over x because e raised to c is e raised to x minus 1 over x and here we have e raised to x right now uh, we have this inequality and uh, we can multiply it by uh, x right we can multiply it by x throughout because uh, we know that x is obviously greater than 0 so we can uh, multiply throughout by x without uh, changing the uh, sign of the inequality 
right so we have here x and here x get cancelled so we have e raised to x minus 1 and here we have x times e raised to x right okay now in the next step what we will do uh, we'll add uh, 1 uh, throughout right so we'll add 1 throughout so we have here 1 plus x here we have 1 plus e raised to x minus 1 and here we have 1 plus x times e raised to x and here 1 and 1 get cancelled so we are left with 1 plus x e raised to x and here we have 1 plus x times e raised to x and this is uh, we have to prove right so viewers this is how uh, with the help of Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, we can uh, derive uh, this important inequality.